Hello, beautiful dancer. First things first, safety. Protect the knees, some knee pads, protect the shoulder. I recommend if you're new to this, you fold up a yoga mat like this and place your shoulder on it while you practice. You will thank me later. <laughs> for those of you that are here for the first time. We begin on our side with both legs bent. We're gonna be bringing our shoulder down to the ground like this. Palm facing up with the back arm, arm goes behind you. We will then shift our weight onto our shoulder and turn our hips up to the sky. It's almost as if we're trying to listen to our downstairs neighbor. Please note, when you straighten your legs and start walking your legs towards your face, the goal here is to keep the hips stacked over the head and also keep the neck free. As you could see, I was able to move my neck back and forth, no problem. Make sure you're not placing any weight on your neck. Here's a little back view for you. Palm face up, we are down on the shoulder, listening to our neighbor, and we straighten the legs. Start walking or gliding the heels up towards your face. This is a little exercise you can do, a little drill, to help you understand what it means to try to stack those hips over your shoulder. Another option is to bend the elbow, keep that by your ribs, and come into your shoulder stand this way. It's right next to your belly, and it's going to feel nice and strong. Notice how my top arm is at a 90 degree angle and I'm really shifting my weight into that front arm. That front arm, you guys, is crucial. You should be really pushing and, and balancing with that front arm, okay? A second way to get into your shoulder mount is to bring this top knee to your top shoulder, almost like an oblique crunch. Keep pushing from that top arm and keep pushing into that shoulder actively, okay? You don't want to collapse knee to shoulder. My bottom leg is really pushing as well. That is what's also helping me get my hips up. So the two simultaneous, the knee to the shoulder and the bottom leg pushing will really help you get your hips off the ground and into your shoulder stand. Let's get into it. And now let's straighten that top leg. Hello. Bring the legs together, bend the knees and come out of it. Good job. A third really pretty option is to go around with the top leg, keeping contact, you know, with the heels on the floor and gliding them the entire time like this. And then you can just kind of go back to where you came from, bend the legs and come out cute. And some common mistakes are to keep the legs unengaged and slightly bent and also to allow your shoulder to roll too early. Um, basically, this is an indication that you are not putting enough weight into that front arm. So to correct this, make sure your legs are nice, strong and engaged and straight. Make sure that your front arm is really pushing and holding a lot of weight in that front hand. If not, you will likely roll backwards. You may be wondering at this point, hmm, what other shapes can I create? Well, let's have some fun, let's see. I made this video because it was requested by one of my subscribers. So if there is something that you want me to teach, go ahead and drop me a comment below. Let me know what you wanna learn next and I'll see what I can put together for you.